In fact, if you look at history, if you study history broadly, everyone was a slave. Everyone. Yes. Well, not everyone was a slave. No, everyone was a slave. Yes. But we, 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 are, we, are, we are all descended from slaves. Ooh, he just keep getting smacked. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. Really appreciate you guys taking time channel out of Modern your Renaissance day Man. Really to view my channel and the videos I post on here. If you enjoy what I put out, please hit that like button. Hit that like button right there so this video can be recommended to you more and so that my content can be pushed out there in the YouTube algorithm and help grow this channel. You guys are doing a great job. Hey, getting the word out there. We just hit 390,000 subscribers last night. Really humbled by that. And I really appreciate you guys' attentiveness. Make sure you follow me at all these platforms you see listed up here. If you would like to financially support the channel, check the links in the description. But also, if you just like to constantly, you know, pledge to the channel, you can pledge right up there to patreon.com forward slash modern renaissance. Man, $1 a month, $12 a year to do that. If you don't, great. If you do, great. Your attentiveness and you looking at my channel and liking it, is great all right y'all i was not going to do it but i couldn't help it because i ended up just going down a rabbit hole and i want to see what don lemon and we're going to talk about and y'all saw the intro here you saw the intro that thumbnail here and it's amazing because your boy got completely ripped by the black community when i was interviewed by fox news martha mccullough and I made the statement that Elon Musk made, just like this. How am I now directing over folks that look just like you guys in this room right now? How? What, what, what kept me down? What oppressed me? I work for myself from off the streets to where I am right now. You gonna sit here and tell me this lie? A critical race theory? Hmm. Joining me now, Ty Smith, host of... Great to have you with us today. Um, Thank you for having me. Well, tell me, you know, what that moment was like in there and what was the response? Were people responding positively to what you had to say or was there some pushback? Well, no, the ones that were possibly like a, a part of this whole narrative that make it seem like black folks just can't do anything without getting some help from big brother government, they had nothing to say. Mm. So before I spoke, a lot of people were up there saying all this, the black people have this art, we need to do more, we need to do this. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, wait a minute, the very people that they are talking about, that was me. I was that kid that they're describing right there, and I didn't see not one of their faces ever come to my neighborhood trying to help out. But they do all this talking on the outside, they march and they got their fist up and they saying we're with you but when it comes down to getting with us personally none of them are ever there so it just i just got really just passionate about it because i'm thinking to myself now look i went beyond this stuff i took time to sit there and like wait a minute something got to be something has to be beyond this i got myself together by saying okay what can i do to make this my life better as a kid now as a kid as a teenager and i just started asking questions and as i asked questions people pointed me in the right directions as i kept getting pointed in the right directions i end up becoming successful and the issue that i'm having with this right now is most of the people that helped me was a mixture of black and white pe people mm -hmm. and i'm the one that decided to want to do something different with my life i grew up around the crimes i grew before i was 15 years old i seen at least 15 people get killed mm -hmm. i'm not talking like you know just something i hear no i'm talking about in front of my face i grew up around the drugs i grew up around the poverty stuff me and my brother when we were young before we were even teenagers we were going around town picking cans to turn it in for money so we can have something to eat you know so when i'm hearing this stuff that people are crying about right now by the black people being oppressed because of that the white people or some white man or some white systemic racism thing i call bs on it because i was so naive to that what they were saying that i actually was asking people legitimately like hey this systemic racism where is it at like where is the white man where is the the system that's doing it because i like to go and talk to the people that's behind it and what and when i do this people usually respond like oh man it's everywhere it's well since you are so sure that it's everywhere, then point it out and show it to me. Yeah. But nobody never can show it to me. I, I just want to play one. Uh, it, you're, it's great um, talking to you. This is another part of what you said the other night that I think people will, um, will want to hear. Watch this. Martin Luther King said he wanted his kids to grow up in a world where they are judged by the contents of their what? Yeah. Their character, not their skin. Yeah, if they let this stuff go on right now, it is absolutely doing the complete reverse of what he's doing. So when February comes, don't talk about Martin Luther King. When February comes, don't talk about black history. Mother, y'all gonna sit there and just pee on his grave with this nonsense? 
you know, I'm thinking about you. You're the dad to two teenage boys, I think. You know, what, what's your message for them? And is this resonating with them? Or do they hear a lot from their friends that's very different from what you're telling them? Oh, Geez, but well my sons, my sons are 19 years old and 17 years old right now. To them, that's dad. What they seen right there, that's another walk in, you know, that's just another check mark. They see dad do this all the time. And to them, you know, it's like, well, hey, guys, my dad do this all the time. So uh, what's new? Because my <laughs> sons weren't raised with that type of mindset. I never had to, I've never once sat down with my sons and go, okay, now look here, sons. You know, these are white people. These are black people. No, my son's seen everybody be a male or female as just friends. I never had to have this conversation with them that they're pushing. So it just really enrages me with this because I got nieces and nephews that's going to be in school and cousins is going to be in school. And I do not want this nonsense being taught to them because it's completely wrong. And that's why I said when, when this come around, don't talk about Martin Luther King. Don't talk about nothing that Martin Luther King said or did because critical race theory is actually doing the reverse of that. It's making what Martin Luther King did and what he fought for, what he died for, meaningless. Yeah. Now, before I, before I defend my stance on that, I want you guys to listen to this portion of the video right here with Elon Musk and Don Lemon, all right? And we're going to get into it. Whoa. Y'all like it this way? I'll play it this way. I don't know. Maybe I need to Make this a little smaller. Hold the front door, brother. I'll make this a little smaller to where it can be more like that. All right. MC Hammer, they put me. Y'all hit the like button yet? Hit the like button for me real quick. All right. Let's get right into it. Yeah, great race or, you know, a, a gender or whatever. You think blaming, you think that society blames everything on racism now? A lot. It blames a lot of things on it. And, uh, yeah. You think that's unfair? Yeah, why? I think I think we should we should we should, we should uh, not not make this a constant uh, subject. I think we need to move on. I think we should just you know um, treat people like people. You don't agree that there's this country was founded on racism and founded on slavery and and in many ways inequities. That's what I got in trouble for. I said no. Um, that still continue on to this. I think every country uh, at, at that time, and I think even today, uh, was uh, extremely racist. Um, every country, um, and um, follow him. Every country, if you want to call it racism, every country was racist. Every country was racist. The first slaves were Slavs. They were white. I think India had like the biggest slave trade going on. China had a slave trade going on. And guess who they were enslaving and selling into slavery? Their own people. Guess who else was uh, enslaving and selling people off as slaves? Black people. The whole dang on country was doing it. Why are we so special? Huh? Why are we so special? Y'all don't want to go down. Y'all don't want to go down this lane with me, do y'all? The transatlantic slave trade. How many went to Portugal? Huh? How many went to Portugal? How many went to the Dutch? Portugal got the, the biggest amount of slaves out of everybody, but y'all act like the United States got the most. What we got about what? What, 1% to 2% of all slaves? And Portugal got like darn near half? But we only focused on the United States. Like, oh, anyway, y'all, let me, let me stop. I'm sorry. Obviously, uh, uh, slavery was present in uh, about half of this country. Um, and no, but not, was not present in the, in the uh, North. Uh, there was racism, for sure. Uh, but... Uh, you know, the I, th I think we, we 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 want to look to the future rather than the past, um, and uh, instead of engaging in uh, constant rehashing of the past, uh, because it, it, in, in fact, if you look at history, if you study history broadly, everyone was a slave. Everyone. Yes. Uh, no, 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 no. That's it. See what I'm saying? No. No, I'm not going to let you get by with that. Don Lemon don't, yes, but. There is no but. Everybody was. See what I'm saying? But what it does, this right here and how we present this, this will kill the narrative. Want to know why? Because black folks, this might be hard for y'all to take this verbal spanking I'm about to give you. It makes you not special. You're not special. We were slaves. We was kings. Guess what? What if white people went around doing it? We were slaves. We were kings. We were descendants of the Irish. Well, how do you know that the white people here weren't the descendants of the people that were enslaved through the Irish? How do you know that the white people that are here weren't slaves of the Slavs? How do you know that? You being black here, how do you know that you are a descendant of slavery? How do you know that your descendants don't come from up north where they never even experienced slavery? How do you know you don't come from that lineage? 
oh, racist Joy Reid, she shouldn't even be talking right now. Her mom and dad, they, they immigrated here. They not, they, Joy Reid parents immigrated here. And she's like a first generation American. So when she gets up here talking about what black people endured, what we endured, what you mean we? Joy Reid, you ain't a part of the we? You might got the skin color and all that, but you ain't a part of the we. Your parents didn't come from slavery, nor are they descendants of it. So what are you talking about? You're no different than the snow cone color hair virtue signaling jelly back sissy fight and title folks out there crying about every little thing. You're no different. You just got the skin. Come on now. Anyway, let's move on. Well, not everyone was a slave. No, but, everyone was a slave. Okay, but we, 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 are, we, are, we are all descended from slaves. Yeah. Well, all of us. Yeah. But, um, so, but it's just a question of when. Was it, was it more recent or less recent? That's it. Right. Um, so, the, but what, what future do we want? Do we we want are, is this something we want to make part of our constant dialogue forever? Or do we, do we want to say, like, let's just move on and treat everyone, uh, you know, uh, according to just who they are as an individual? I you mean the contents of their character and not the color of their skin? Is that what you're saying, Elon Musk? I wonder who said that. Oh, wait. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all can disagree with this all you want to. You are not going to be able to move forward as all you keep doing is looking back. I get that my ancestors went through what they went through. I get that. I understand that. We all been hammered with it since we were kids. But at the same time, you were only hammered with a southern view of what happened during that time. You were only hit with a southern view of what happened during the slave period. What about up north? Huh? What about the percentage of black people who lived in the south who had slaves as well? What about the black people that traded slaves with white people? Oh, we don't talk about that. What about the Indians that had you Negroes as slaves? Y'all not coming at them about it. And not only that. When slavery was ending, guess who was not involved in that? Indians. They got to keep you Negroes. Y'all ain't got nothing to say to them. Y'all ain't got no smoke for the Indians. Oh, well, they took the land from them. Everybody was about conquistador. They were about conquering each other. And when they conquered another tribe, whoever became dang on prisoners of those tribes could be sold off as slaves. It was going on in all the world. So again, black folks, what makes y'all pissed off about this is that when you start to see the truth of this, you're going to see that you're not that special. The Jews literally got almost wiped off the planet. Wiped off the planet. And they could come here and kill it? What are we doing? Get pissed off at me all you want to, but I'm telling you right now, this constant, continuous circle, we were slaves, we was kings, look what they did to our ancestors. You're not moving. You're not moving on. There's no growth there. See, this is what happens. Whenever someone... All of us experience this. Whenever an individual thinks about something that happened to them in the past, whether it's traumatic or what, what happens? All y'all right now, you all can think of a situation that happened to you in your life. Somebody says something, somebody did something. And you, when you start to think about what happened to you, your body starts to respond as if you're getting ready to relive that situation, don't it? Y'all know this. If you think about something that happened to you, you will sit there and be like, you sit there and think to yourself, you can do it yourself. You find yourself mouthing something that happened to you years ago. You find yourself getting pissed off all over it again. And when you continuously do that, you will not be able to grow and move on from that. So I'm in agreement with him. What did Morgan Freeman say? Stop talking about it. He, how, how do you get rid of racism? Stop talking about it. That's what Morgan Freeman said. Anybody want to, this continuous thing is only for the reason. It's to pimp black people. It's to keep them pissed off. It's to keep them mad. It's to keep them from progressing and moving on, plain and simple. Let's continue. I agree with you with that. That's the ideal. But what the evidence shows is that that's not what's actually in practice. I think we're doing better than anywhere else. That Boom. Yes, we are. And that's true. I agree with that. Ladies and gentlemen, I know I keep cutting you all off because I'm passionate about this. Is there racism in America? Yes. And it's not just white people. See, when you think about slavery, your minds instantly go to white man bad, black people, slaves. 
Y'all don't think about the fact that black people had slaves. Y'all don't think about the fact that Indians had slaves. Indians enslaved their own people. Indians enslaved other tribes. Black people, especially the movie y'all went to go see, The Woman King. The Woman King. The Dahomey tribe enslaved black people and sold those black people to white people. And guess what made the Dahomey tribe stop selling black people to white people? Guess who stopped that? Huh? Guess who stopped that? White people stopped that. The white people came and told the Dahomey, y'all are not going to be selling slaves no more. This is about to be a wrap. And I don't care what that movie made it look like. They got annihilated. Those black women didn't stand a chance against those men. I think they might have lost one person the men did. One, if even that, I think they lost one. It wasn't even a competition. People think, well, the women were really strong. Don't believe in this Hollywood stuff. Those women didn't stand a chance against those men. Matter of fact, the men said, we just gonna try, we just gonna, we just gonna do it by hand. We ain't even gonna shoot them. We gonna do it by hand. Kill them. Tore them women up. And now people think, well, oh, that tribe was a fool. The men just made a comment saying, them women had heart. That don't mean there was some competition. They had heart. I mean, it's like me playing against a kid right now. If I do any sport, basketball against a kid that's like in the third grade, the fourth grade, and this kid really giving it his all, he hustling, he really trying, I'm going to say, hey, he, hey, the kid had heart. It don't mean that he was in competition with me, but this is what they like to do. They like to draw it up that way. So again, my brothers and sisters, white or black, all, everybody faced it. Everybody had it. But why are they making it seem like black people are the only one that encountered this? is to push a narrative, plain and simple. Let's continue. But that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean a lot to a whole lot of people who are able to take advantage of the opportunities that you were able to take advantage of. Like what? Like what? Let me go back a little bit, y'all. I told y'all, it's going to be a lot of stopping. So dialogue forever? Or do we, do we want to say, like, let's just move on and treat everyone, uh, you know, uh, according to just who they are as an individual? I agree with you with that. That's the ideal. But what the evidence shows is that that's not what's actually in practice. I think we're doing better than anywhere else. That, that's true. I agree with that. But that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean a lot to a whole lot of people who are able to take advantage of the opportunities that you were able to take advantage of simply because of the color of your skin. What advantage does it do? What color of my skin give me? Well, there's a certain, there's an ease that you have in society that you, that many people of color don't you were able to come to this country voluntarily there are many people who are not able to come to the country voluntarily They're who in this <laughs> in this world today in 2024 who was brought to america involuntarily if you think people are coming to America involuntarily, I beg your pardon. I want to direct your attention and your focus to the southern border. I want to direct your attention to Haiti. These black folks trying to flood in here. Now, what about back in slave days? We're not taught, man. Are you serious? And if anybody like Don Lemon has a problem with that, then Negro go back. I bet you won't. None of y'all are serious about nothing. I don't care what any of you guys say. None of y'all, and I'm just putting it out there, be mad, be pissed at me, black people. Y'all don't like when I do this, but oh well. Black folks, none of y'all are really serious about, we got stolen. We ain't even in our land. We don't speak our language. We go back. I bet y'all don't go back. No, we just want white people to validate us. We want them to give us something. We want, what? Negro, please. It's not going to happen, so why are you still talking about it? If you don't like it, I promise you, I promise you. There will be a lot of folks, including black people, that will gladly put a GoFundMe together for all you Negroes that want to go back to the motherland, but I bet you none of y'all sign up for it. Stop being hypocritical about it. You're not trying to leave America. I just want to be mad and pissed off and just acknowledge me, validate me, understand that I went, you didn't go do nothing. You did not go do nothing, Negro. The only reason why you are not ahead and doing what you want to do right now is because you don't want to do it. You want somebody else to do it for you. You want somebody else to hold your hand. You want them to just hand this stuff over? No, you have to put in the work to do it. You have to put in the time to do it. You have to ask questions. You have to get hooked up with people. And when you do that, you're going to see you will make it to where you want to make it to. You need to be questioning the ones who are telling you you can't. Nobody's saying that. Yes, they are. You need to have standards lowered. 
We need to have affirmative action. We need to have Big Daddy government giving us food stamp snaps. And I'm, this, this goes for all people, but I'm particularly focusing on what Don Lemon is talking about here, which are black people. Y'all need to quit falling for this. Look at Don Lemon. Dude, you a millionaire. What oppressed you? What stopped you? There are, to- there are tons of white people that didn't get the position that you have, sir. Don Lemon. Oh, 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 Don Lemon. Did you only get on that? Did you only get on CNN because of your color, your skin? Huh? You only got on there because you inclusively because you're gay. Did you only get on there because of equity? Don Lemon? Is that the only reason why CNN hired you? Because if so, what you're telling us is that you're not skilled. You're not articulate. You don't have no specialty in journalism. You don't have no specialty in being a news anchor, Don. You only got the job because your color, your skin. Cap. I'm calling a lie on that. Bull crap. There are people Actually, who came I, here as slaves. For me to come here. And there is a legacy of slavery that still continues on. There's a legacy of racism that still continues on in this country. That's And that's undeniable. What slavery is going on in this country besides sex trafficking and child trafficking and human trafficking? And if that's the real slavery and it comes from a place of hatred, why aren't we fighting that? Why isn't that being put on the news that they are busting these things up left and right? Slavery is still legal in some countries right now. Why aren't people protesting in the street like they're doing for Palestine right now? Why, why is any of that going on right now? Why? If they really believe slavery is so wrong, look what they did to us. What about what they're continually doing to us over in those countries right now? Including Negroes. Black people. Well, that's different. Those are Africans. Come on, man. Yo, like I said, bull crap. Well, if, if, if we keep talking about it nonstop, it will never go away. Nope. If we keep making it the central thing, it will never go away. Well, why do you believe that? I think I'm just making a simple statement of fact. Um, so, I think, I think we want to get away from making everything a race or a gender or whatever issue. And just treat people like individuals. Do you have any desire to understand what many people of color and even trans people um, how they feel about this country and how they're treated in this country if they if they say and they believe that they are treated a certain way in this country why don't you believe them you, you, you cannot have a situation where, where someone is, is a self-described victim and and that you and they just get to be that because that's how they feel I think that that does happen in some cases but not all cases and I think that not understanding the history of the country I think is um, is a, a real shame. Look, I've had, we should understand I've had incredible history, opportunities and other countries. I've had incredible opportunities as a person of color. Right. But I've also You're been very dis- well. But I've also been discriminated against. And I know that I have. How? And I know that that's real. How? Tell us. Tell and us. And for someone to say that that isn't happening and I should not, I should just move forward and not think about that and ignore the past is insulting. I'm not saying it. Don, you keep putting words in my mouth. I'm not saying it's... it's I didn't say that you said it. I'm saying that we want to... We, we, as, we as a country should move beyond questions of, of, of race and gender, and we should treat people like individuals and, and base our opinions on them, on the, you know, uh, their, their, uh, their, their, their character and their skills. I don't think that anyone will disagree with that. Exactly. All I'm saying is that that's not happening and is not equal for everyone. Man, come on, Don that those opportunities don't happen for everyone. And how, where I am a living example that they don't, I, you are at the top of you. <laughs> y'all see how crazy y'all black people. If y'all watching this, y'all see how insulting that is within itself. Don Lemon has reached the highest pinnacle that a person can reach when it comes to journalism and being like on one of the major news networks in the dang going country. And you're telling me he's playing victim right now? He's playing victim right now. He just got done talking about that we have 5% of who people? What type of people? Doctors. How did we get, how did, how did we get there? I told you, I dir- I'm a director of a multiple facilities right now, and how did I get there? Oh, they just, you no, know, I had to put in the work. I applied for this position, let's say, five years ago. Before I got the position, the ones that were above me told me, get a get about another year or so underneath your belt of experience in this particular area. Because we looked at your resume, but you need to have more in the business aspect and policy when it comes to running these, these, these facilities. You're a great leader. You keep the morale really good. We haven't heard one bad thing about you. 
da 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 but get this right here under your belt. I could have went back, see, they didn't do it because of racism. See, they because I'm black. That's the only reason why, because everybody else in these executive positions and director roles, they all white, and that's the reason why they did. No, I went back and did exactly what they said. The next year I applied, boom, I got it. And still been doing it to this day and enjoying it. I got it because of the skill, the knowledge that I put in, the experience that I have in the medicine world. I mean, come on now. Man, come on, Don. Come on, man. Everybody at Victim. Don is doing exactly something here that y'all don't know. It's secretly. It's this thing where a lot of people, when they get to a certain point in life and they get to the top, they really don't want other black folks to get up there with them either. So they'll push this narrative out there, make you believe so that you will stay down there and not get up there on their level. Trust me when I tell you. I know that they don't because I live it. You literally. Yo, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Be pissed off at me for pausing it. Don Lemon literally just had this job wrapped up right here. Elon Musk gave Elon Musk was going to give him what he wanted. He, the very person you are insinuating that feel a certain type of way, who is Elon Musk, Don Lemon. They were getting ready to give you the cyber truck, five million dollars in advance to your eight million dollar salary, the private jet to fly you, and all this. And that. you were getting what you asked for, and now you playing these games. Now, I'm not saying Elon Musk is doing this, but in my mind, I would be like, Negro, you done. I mean, you, you are done. I'm giving you a show. And although I don't have to give you these demands you asked me for, I'm giving them to you for you to turn around and try to insinuate that in some shape, form, or fashion, I'm coming off as being like racist or something. Bro. You've been incredibly successful. I have been. And I in think. spite of it all. But I, but I am, I know what I know. Which is what? Experience what I've experienced. Which is anecdotal. But what is it? Name it off. Fire it off right now. You haven't done that. And I cannot, um, I don't know what it's like to be from South Africa. I don't know what it's like to be a white man. I don't know what it's like to be a woman. I don't know what it's like to be a Latino mm -hmm. person. You know what it's like to be a woman, Don Lemon. Because you being smashed by your husband, you know what it's like. <laughs> I don't know that. So I wouldn't speak for them and just say, you need to move on. That's not for me to say. Okay, so if I'm black and I'm saying it, what you gonna say to me? It's always gonna be an excuse. If I'm black right now and I say exactly what Elon Musk said, what you gonna say to me? You a Uncle Tom. There you go. You coon. You tap dancer. You horse. You 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 tap dance for the white man. You boot licker. You Porsche nigga. You house nigga. Old Sambo. That, that's what y'all gonna do. There ain't no win. There is no winning. And guess what? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm all about the people who wants to move forward and not be stuck. One thing that a lot of people are not going to tell you guys about and talk about is the late 1800s when slavery was ending and how we increased hundreds of folds in multiple occupations as black people post slavery. This is pre civil rights movement when we were killing it great during the middle class. We were married just as equal as the white people. We had jobs just as equally as the white people. Huh? Y'all don't, oh, they don't, see, that's the part they keep out of history. They don't want to tell you about that part. We were at one part called the new middle class of America, black people were, pre-civil rights movement. Nobody talks about that era, though, do they? No, that part got erased. Don Lemon, do you know that? I Maybe I believe that the country, it would be great if the country could live up to that ideal. Do you think that everyone has the same opportunities in America, regardless of their background and eth ethnicity? Do you agree? You no, I don't that. think everyone has the same offshore aids. Okay. So um, when you talk about this. But, y'all, be careful. He's not saying they don't have the, the, the same opportunities because of their black. There's a lot of things, and I know they're moving on right now, which means I'm going to move on. There's a lot of things that come into play when it comes to this. When you say opportunities, it's because opportunities can be so many different variables. There's opportunity as an umbrella. An opportunity, you might have where you live. You might have who you know. You might have social economic level. You might have what type of household you grew up in. You might have all these different variables that can sit there and influence what type of opportunities you would have. Trust me, I know. For me to come from where I came from, which y'all can say, oh, that's a typical rags to, rags to riches like type story. What you got going on there, Ty? Ah, you can say that. But again, it came down to different opportunities that present themselves. And when they did, I took advantage of them. I listened. I honed in on the wisdom that was given to me. When, when I asked questions, if the person didn't know it, they pointed me to somebody else and I went to somebody else and I asked questions. All of us can do it. It's just if you want to take the, the initiative to actually do it versus you wanting somebody to do it for you. No. 
for me to get where I am right now, I can say anybody can reach that, but you're not going to have the same opportunities that I did, meaning it may not be the same doorways. For example, your college may not get paid for like mine did because I went on a scholarship for doing track and field, right? So you don't have that opportunity because you don't have the athletic ability that I did, okay? Boom. See, it's a lot of variables that play into that. Y'all follow me? I may not have went in to go to school like some of you have off of a academic scholarship because some of y'all are a lot smarter than what I am when it comes to certain things. Therefore, you got the academic scholarship. I didn't qualify for no academic scholarship at all. At all. Okay? So, of course, none of us, all of us don't have the same opportunities. That's because there are variables that come into play when it comes to those opportunities. But I can tell you right now, it's going to be hard for me to believe that skin is going to play a part in that. As far as you want to get where you want to get, uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. now, if you are a son or daughter of Elon Musk or some of these rich billionaires, you're going to have different opportunities than somebody that like my sons would have. You will. Now, if I know some of these rich people and I'm cool with these rich people and I'm really good friends with these rich people, that increases my sons and opportunities for different avenues. That's just life. That's like who you know, period. Anyway, y'all, appreciate y'all all tuning in. For this live feed, I really, 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 really do thank you guys for being here. Make sure y'all hit that like button before y'all get out of here. Really, really appreciate y'all taking y'all time out of y'all day. Get into those cell phones. Let somebody know about this channel. Encourage them to subscribe to this channel after checking it out. This was an awesome segment that I was able to do on here. Shout out to, I'm just being real, shout out to Don Lemon and Elon Musk for doing this interview and putting this information out there to where we, you and I, we the people can look at this and judge it for what it is. But I see through all the bull crap, plain and simple. I am not going to lie here and say that you can tell that it might have made Elon Musk a little uncomfortable, the different movements and everything like that. And again, I don't know why, but I'm just going to assume one segment of this might be because Elon Musk was being cut off so much it might have been frustrating him. I don't know. I would like to hear Elon Musk come back and say some things on this, which he probably won't because he's probably done with it. Got a million other things he's doing. I don't know. That being said, folks, I'm done with this interview, all right? It's officially over. Don't send me nothing else so I can do another video on it. Don't. I'm done. No. All right. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. Most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.